Geometry 243, locus for a circle, and two theorems. All right, look at my drawings here. Here we've got point A with a group of points around it, making a circle. And here we have circle B, the center point's B, and it's got a bunch of points going around it, a group of points. And look at it's making concentric circles. That's our theorems. Let's check it out. First one. The locus of points that are a given distance from a given point is a circle whose center is the given point and the length of the radius is the given distance. Oh, okay. English, please. If we have a locus of points that are the same distance from a given point, it's a circle. The given point is the center point. It's that guy. All right? Next one. Theorem. The locus of points that are a given equal distance from the outside of a circle is a circle outside the given circle and concentric with it. Okay, here we go. That means if a group of points that are located at an equal distance from a given circle and are located outside that circle, the points make a circle that is outside the first given circle. The two circles are concentric. So, let's read that again and look at this drawing. If a group of points are located at an equal distance from a given circle, this guy, and are located outside that circle, the points make a circle that is outside the first given circle. And the two are concentric. Makes a lot more sense when you look at a picture, doesn't it? Okay, so, a group of points that are the same distance from a given point A make the locus for a circle. A group of points that are the same distance from a given circle, circle B, make the locus for concentric circles. Whew, okay, locus for a circle, plus two theorems. I'll see you next video.